Hey everyone, this is Sheldon with VSL Computers. And this video is going to try and explain what a browser is and a little bit of what it does. But this is not going to be a full in-depth analysis of browsers or whatever, but as I'm going out in the field, whether it's to a residential or business place, I'll have people ask questions like, <clears throat> I was on MSN, now I'm on Chrome. Or I used to have Verizon.net, we went to Bright House, now we have BayNews9.com. Should we go back to Fios so we can get Verizon.net? And if you have questions like this, or if you don't understand what's wrong with those questions, this video may be for you. So probably the first thing we should discuss or cover is what exactly is a browser? A browser is just a program that's installed on your computer to help you travel the internet. Some of us have a word processor, for example, that's installed on our computer to help us write documents, whether we use Microsoft Word and or WordPerfect or some other program. We, we have this word processor to help us write docs. Well, a browser helps you travel the internet. And there are many, many browsers available to us, but probably there are four of them that stand out the most. And we have Internet Explorer, which is made by Microsoft, Safari, which is made by Apple, Chrome, which is a product of Google, and Firefox, which is made by Mozilla. And Chrome and Google seems to be the biggest concern or confusion point um, in my experience. And what we need to think about is Google, just like Apple and Microsoft, they are a company. And they provide services and they make things. One of the things they make is a browser called Chrome. Their website is Google.com. This is like apples and oranges. We have Google.com that we can actually visit using the browser Chrome or the Safari browser or Internet Explorer. It doesn't matter which browser you use, you can visit Google.com. You know, it's like I said, we kind of travel the Internet using these things that we call browsers. So you could think of browsers as automobiles and and you can you can travel to any website using any vehicle whether it's Internet Explorer or Firefox or Chrome or whatever a couple of things about browsers a couple of notes are you can have more than one browser on your computer at a time just like you can have a Ford sitting in your driveway right next to a Toyota you can have Internet Explorer and you can have Chrome installed on your computer. I have all four. From time to time I might make a website or do something and I just want to see how it looks in different browsers or for whatever reason I might just use different browsers. So you can use as many, you can install you know, however many browsers you want. Uh, I would not recommend more you know, going crazy but you know that's what you can do. The next thing that we'll discuss are home pages. These seem to be a source of confusion as well. All a home page is, is simply a default starting point. When your browser opens up, whether it's Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever, it wants to show you a web page. Imagine getting into your car and every time you started it up, it just wanted to take you straight to Publix okay that we would call that your your default starting point and obviously in a car that wouldn't work out too well but with uh the browsers that's not so hard you know that's that's an easy kind of a thing or whatever so so when somebody says i used to have google.com now i have chrome that's kind of like saying i used to go to publix now i have a toyota remember Toyota is a vehicle, you can go anywhere with it. 
whether you want to go to Publix or whatever. So our vehicles, Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox, we can travel to any website. And if you'll go to any search engine and just type in set home page and then the name of your browser, like Chrome or Internet Explorer, I'm sure you'll find a quick little article on how to set your default starting point or your home page for your browser. So I hope this kind of cleared things up. You know, like I said, we've got browsers, which are vehicles to travel the internet. And then we have websites that we go to. And a starting point is a default website that we go to when we open up our browser. And we call that a home page. Um, if you felt this video was helpful to you, please feel free to share it and like it and subscribe to get more of these. Thanks a lot.